Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. I'm out driving around today. It's my day off. I had to ask for the day off. And they're like, well, you won't get your attendance bonus. So, like, you know what? Keep your 50 bucks or whatever the hell it is. I need a friggin' day off. So, I'm all by myself and I thought, how am I going to spend my day? Well, obviously, I'm going to make videos. So, what videos am I going to make? <clears throat> I was out driving around and I thought, you know what? I hate that damn video, but so many people like that Lowe's video. I gotta, I gotta one up it. I gotta do something else. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do pretty much the same concept as the Lowe's video, but I'm gonna hit a whole bunch of different stores. So it's not just gonna be one store. And the idea of the video is not, hey, go to this store because they've got, you know, this is where you find X, Y, and Z you know survival items it's thinking outside the box and being able to find things that can be used for survival in places that you wouldn't normally think of so we're going I'm just going to drive around and pick a store and see what I can find in here and you know I'll hit a lot of the usual spots too but just to make it a little bit more challenging let me show you the first store that I picked so let me turn my camera around here real quick well, no, I better not. I better just talk for a minute because some woman is walking in the view of where I was going to shoot the camera and I don't want to be that creepy dude sitting in the car videotaping people. Like, what is that guy doing? Oh my God, I call the cops. You know, I always seem to have some sort of issue like that when I'm out doing these videos. So, okay, she's gone. All right, now she's out of the way. So here we are. I'm going to go into Michael's Arts and Crafts and see what kind of survival stuff that I can find. And I know my video work is not the best today, but you know when you're not in a not don't have a tripod and you're just kind of holding the camera, you know it's going to look a little sloppy. So bear with me. Let's go out here and uh, shop around and see what kind of interesting stuff we can find. Okay, so here's my secret for making those uh, fire starters. It's pricey, but it works. About 18 bucks, you can make a ton of uh, fire starters with this using the little cosmetic rounds. And if you really want to get crazy, you can get a $50 bucket of this stuff. But, you know, hey. They also have big uh, chunks of beeswax here, which you can do a lot of stuff with. But all in all, as far as, you know, making really, really good fire starters, this stuff is the bomb. Okay, so Michaels didn't have a whole lot of stuff. You know, but that uh, that gel wax stuff, that was pretty the, much the biggest thing that I would go there for. Uh, those fire starters are awesome. I think I've shown them before, but if not, you know, just do, do a search for gel wax starter, fire starters, and you'll find them. It's awesome stuff. Let's uh, look around and see what else we can find. Kind of wanting something sweet. Pick up some candy here at Party City, and while I'm here, see if I can find any... Uh, survival items I don't think I gotta spell this one out for you this music's horrible God make this music stop Oh, this isn't a survival item. I'm going to eat this. The container store? Container, that's one of the five C's. I like it already. Let's go see what we can find. This is the big thing that I go, come here for. 
they've got all these Nalgene bottles. You can do tons of stuff with these, whether it's, uh, you know, something to put your meds in, your pills, you know, some sort of, you know, oil or fire starting liquid. I use these for like ibuprofen. <clears throat> what else we got here? But they got, you know, containers are big. They don't always have to be for, uh, you know, boiling water in, and they've got lots of stuff in these places. Little mesh pouches. Granted, you may not have a container store where you live, but just find some store that sells like travel stuff. You'll find a bunch of this. Hmm, that could be useful. Like my fire sports. These little uh, cheap, these are always good for different things. $1.49, this is where I got the, one of my videos, pack videos, I had a little fishing kit. This is what I used. But watertight containers are always good. Not much in the way of stainless steel, you know, boiling water containers, but, you know, a couple little gadgets there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go into Walmart, but here's the stipulation can't use the camping section you know where all the survival stuff is because that would be you know cheating copping out and completely against the point of this video so I'll look around see what I find but like I said I'm not going to show you the Bear grill stuff and the flashlights and all that great things what the hell you're asking well, let me tell you something in a grid down WROL shit hit the fan scenario this is an excellent nasty brutal but excellent chemical weapon for self-defense I'm talking like when things are really really bad I mean don't carry this around and place a mace you'll go to jail but you know as a pest control guy let me tell you this is nasty stuff and a shot to the face is gonna mess uh, a violent you know killer up just as bad as you know some you know Fox 5.3 or something so for five bucks oh and it also kills wasps so there you go two things you can never have enough of oh my god they're playing karma chameleon like in purgatory or something. Saw this the other day. Seven mil, nine foot by twelve, buck twenty-four. Great little uh, lightweight covers for your small packs. And of course, you can get thicker and bigger too. I'll be honest. I don't remember which one it is you're supposed to get. I want to say it's the double aught uh, steel wool. You can start fires with that stuff. 297. Zip ties, always useful. You know, the big ones can be used for, you know, securing hostiles or something like that. You know. <laughs> Where is it? Do they have one? Uh, no. Might be in another aisle, what I'm looking for. This is that uh, sharpener I've showed several times. This is my preferred field sharpener. It's actually marked down pretty cheap. I wonder if I should get another one. Just kidding. These are the ones that I prefer. I use a lot of these. They're very multi-purpose in creating a shelter. But make sure they've got the twisty lock. Still the best deal. There's these uh, hammocks I've recommended several times. You just gotta upgrade the uh, attachment ropes. But they're nice hammocks, I really like them. Tough. 
I know I said I wasn't going to go into camping aisle, but these are still really good dry bags for the money. I have, I have several of them and they hold up as long as you don't fill them full of knives <laughs> and poke holes in them and they work fine. This is the stuff that I always use for like the Becker handles and stuff like that. It's cheap, gives you a great grip. So a lot of people always ask me so I figured I'd show it real quick. Pretty good deal. 18 heavy duty covers for 10 bucks. Alright, that's enough Walmart for today. I was, I was thinking that was going unusually smooth, but they finally got me. So I had to grab my uh, muscle milk and scoot on to find other things. It's like, can't videotape. Why? It's Walmart policy. Why? It just is. See, you don't even know why I do you. You just, hey, don't. I was like, I'm just, you know, playing with my new toy, you know, making a video, a little shopping list. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> well, apparently I can do it then. Shit makes no sense. First, let me point out that I did not choose, uh, what is this, Backstreet Boys for the soundtrack. Menards chose that. Oh, good, they stopped it. Uh, we've got a 20 inch cable saw, the infamous cable saws from the old survival knives. Uh, $1.99. You know, it's not a Baco, but be good for a real compact kit. You can never have too many uh, Night Eyes S binders, in my opinion. Here's a, uh, it's basically a snap web belt, $4.98. Like I said with my bushcraft tool belt videos, it's so much better to carry your heavy stuff on a external belt, you know, aside from the one holding your pants up. You know, even if you could go heavy leather, but you know, it's just, you know, a lot heavier. <laughs> I gotta wonder, you know, they got these leather holsters. You can take something like this, this utility knife sheath probably cut it right about here. I wonder if that's big enough for a hawk handle. Eh, maybe, maybe not. You know, it's got to be creative sometimes. Butainer. I wonder if one of these would be good for like some trail mix or something like that. Interesting little container for, you know, $2.98. Or the smaller one for 238. Hmm. 12-pack of cotton shop towels for 249. You know, it's not a bandana, but you know, it's cotton cloth. And there's lots of uses for that. Bandage, you know, make a char cloth, whatever. What else can we find here? 22-inch machete for 849, but says it's made in China, not South America. So, I guess if you had no other choice. If you can find a cheap pair of little compact pruning clippers, they're really good if you uh, run a BioLite stove and you need to kind of trim your little sticks to make them usable to put in there to burn. If you don't have a BioLite stove, it's really not a big deal. Got some axes, what we got here? One and a half pound. Is that the right price? 24 bucks? No, that's the eight pound. How much is this? No idea. Prices are overrated. There's a Camp Axe over here. Let's check that out. Again with no price, so that's pretty much work. That's pretty much worthless. Gopher traps, 
two pack for ten twenty seven. Hmm. Not sure about that. Not a trap master. Dollar forty two. Five bucks for an eight by ten medium duty green polytarp. It's pretty decent. Tarp tape, tarp repair tape, developed for the outdoors. Three ninety-eight. Here's another type of a uh, tarp grommet. I always like those. There's that tarp zipper that we saw at uh, Home Depot, 838. Might be interesting. 36 inch flat bungee cords. This is a Dave Canterbury trick. Real easy for a quick setup of tarps. Uh, you know, especially when they're in odd places and you need to set them up quick. Plus they give, so that's good when it's heavy winds. Uh, it's not too bad of a price. You'd need four of them at least. 228 for uh, 100 feet of steel wire. You'd make some snares if you had to. Comes in handy. I mean, even if you're just uh, you know trying to make a shelter, or, you know, you know, wire something up so it's real secure. Of course, these are always handy. May not be climbing rated, but 